I soared through the sky, I spoke with my mother. Tell me, is it wrong for me to be happy that I escaped death? Can you still say such things to me, even after witnessing my other form? Thank you. Somehow I feel as though your acceptance alone is my salvation. My sweet companion, I am entrusting the future of Thodlin to you. It is the only logical choice, as everyone wishes for you to be the new leader of this land. I am not qualified to continue leading the people. Though my intention was to keep the peace in Fodlin, I still propagated a false history and deceived my faithful followers. I also took advantage of my position as Archbishop to further my own selfish goal of seeing my mother again. If my foolish actions had anything to do with the war, I... I wonder... After all I have done, is it truly acceptable for me to go on living my life? You are aware that it is my fault your fate has been so cruel, are you not? You have become so strong. You and I, we were brought together by the flow of time and bound by the hands of fate. I took you on as a professor and Ever since, well, I believe with all of my heart that this outcome was meant to be. Oh, perhaps it is disrespectful of me to say that. Because it gives all of the credit to time and to fate, and doesn't pay you due honor for all of the choices you made that brought us to this moment. For all that you have done, for all the joy that you have brought me. Thank you. Ever since the tragedy at the Red Canyon, I have lived a solitary life. In an effort to fill the hole left by that solitude, I took up the challenge of reviving the Progenitor God. I wished for you to become the Progenitor God. I wished desperately to be held in my mother's arms once more. But that has changed. Now, I wish only for you to be yourself, and to have you by my side. I love you, dearly. And so, I must ask, will you accept this ring? If you feel the same, I would like nothing more than to spend the rest of my life with you. You... you brought a ring as well? For me? I am overcome with joy. I never thought I would know a day so blissful as this. That we found each other. Perhaps that means my mother is looking after us. Guiding us. As the new leader of Fodlin, if you wish for this time of peace to be everlasting, well then, I will happily dedicate my life to supporting your reign. No matter what obstacles we should encounter, I believe that our bond, no, rather our love, I believe that our love can overcome all. Together, we can achieve anything. With our love, we will make Fodlin's future as bright as the stars in the sky. <laughs>